going to talk to you guys about power wheels today and possible issues that you may have with them. This is the Raptor Yamaha. It's 12 volt. Um, it runs off the two motors in the back. Each wheel has a motor uh, attached to it. So as far as problems with these things, as you can see over here, we have quite a few of them. Uh, we buy these through liquidation centers and we fix them and resell them to the public at a lower cost. So if you're having problems with your power wheel, the first thing to do is determine what the problem is. Are you having issues as far as um, it not moving at all. Sometimes you'll have lights that'll come on or the lights coming on. Is your reverse not working? Your forward not working? So it's just determining what the issue may be on. Um, if I get one and it's not working at all, the first thing that I usually check, and I've taken some of these screws out to, for access, the first thing that I usually check would be the battery. So in these batteries, they come with two extra fuses and a fuse that's already in it so what happens a lot of times is back up here a lot a lot of times what will happen is is this fuse will blow after extensive charging oh, excuse me after extensive charging it'll blow that way it doesn't overheat the battery itself so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just check the battery. The battery's right there. And if it's blowed, you just put a new battery in, pop it back in uh, the power wheel, and you're off to the races. So the next thing that I usually check would be the foot pedal switch. Let me put this back in here. Okay. Next thing I usually check is the foot pedal switch. So under here is a few bolts or a few screws. Just unscrew it. And what this is, is, is a plunger. That's all it is, just a little plunger. And a lot of times what will happen is, is this plunger will go bad. And this plunger... It just screws right up in there, or, or it's got locking braces on the side, and you can just pull it right in, pull it right out. But just replace this if this, you know, is, is your issue. And a lot of times, if it's not the battery, it's this. Because a lot, of, most, most times, most times, if you could take your wheels, and you hear that means your motor is good if the motor locks up it won't move at all so it's usually battery foot pedal switch oftentimes what will happen is I'll get one in and it'll have four but I'll have no reverse so I'll go put it in reverse nothing's happening I put it in forward takes off really good so this is an extra one that i had and this one happens to be bad but the reason this is bad is because inside this here if you can see these two here these are switches and that's what this looks like on the inside of that box here see the back of it? it's about is about the same so what happens is <clears throat> this is your run forward reverse or you know your your power and what happens is is when this is in reverse it clicks down like this when it's in forward it clicks down like that so what's happening is is either the inside of it is stripped out or you have a bad switch and 9 times out of 10 you'll have a bad switch. Um, you know, these are really easy to kind of figure out. Um, 
if your battery's not taking a charge, you just you you got maybe 15 minutes of run time. It takes off fast at first, and then it it, it stops. Replace the battery. You can get them on eBay. You can get these on eBay. You can get their foot pedal switch on eBay. Uh, it's all relatively cheap. You know, it, it doesn't cost a whole lot. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's just of it here. It's just a matter of trying to figure out what your issue may be and narrowing it down to battery, foot pedal, to gear, to your motors. Everything else is all plastic, and that's about it. So I hope this video has helped. If so, I appreciate you liking it. And uh, we'll try to make another one where we're more involved in things. Thank you.